Nun is directed by Corin Hardy and it stars Damien Bashir and Thaisa Formiga and it is set in the Conjuring universe. We go back in time to explore some of the origins of Valak, the demon introduced in The Conjuring 2. And this is set in an abbey in Romania in 1952 as a priest and a novitiate are summoned to explore some of the dark past of this haunted abbey and of course they run into Valak. The Nun is not the best movie in this franchise because The Nun runs into a problem where the way they play with Valak the demon, the rules that they set up for how this demon works, the powers it has, it's not really that well explained. There's some interesting lore in this film and certainly Damien Bashir and Thaisa Farmiga are not cliched characters despite many cliches happening in this film. The atmosphere and the setting are really great and they lend to some really unique visuals and some really unique, again, atmosphere to be created around this abbey and around what these characters are seeing or hearing. But the film just runs into that classic jump scare cliche. That's not ever a false scare, thank God, because this movie has real scares all the time, but you get used to it, you can tell when a scare is coming, and it was not even half as creative with cliché scares as Annabelle Creation was. Because Annabelle Creation doesn't really get scary until like halfway through, but you create this atmosphere with these girls in this house that's very unique, and David F. Sandberg, who directed Annabelle Creation, has these really long takes and wise following the house for you to get to know the structure and the geography. The Nun doesn't really have that and so it loses quite a bit of fright when you don't really know what these characters are seeing because you yourself have never seen it before. So when these characters are following something or someone into a new location, a new part of the savvy, you are half of the time trying to figure out where they are and trying to understand the setting yourself. The acting is really solid all around except there's this one guy who keeps popping up in the film named Frenchy, that's how people call him. This guy is in a completely different film. I didn't feel like he needed to be here as much as he was, but the script finds a way for him to be shoehorned into the film at the very end, which kind of works, but until that point, the film kind of loses you with this character. That's not to say that everything goes wrong with the nun. As I said, there's good acting, the characters are not necessarily cliches themselves, but there are so many ways that you see that this could be solved like that. For most of this film, I was saying to myself, wow, nothing is happening. And you get kind of bored here and then until Valak pops up on screen because that's the one character in this whole film that you already know. That's the character that you are already invested in because it was pretty cool in The Conjuring 2 and it is pretty cool again whenever it does show up. And there's a lot of convoluted messes, there's a lot of jumping to conclusions that despite working you cannot help but think to yourself, wow that's a giant leap of faith that worked, what are the odds? I enjoyed some of the aspects of the lore in The Nun but they didn't ever come from The Nun, they are coming from films that already exist in this universe and that they were already set up before. There are good scares, there's good acting, some of the beats are interesting to expand said lore but again there's nothing that feels creative. There are better versions of this film, there are better uses of the cliches that this film uses and overall you just feel like you watch something that you could probably watch a better version of. The Nun is not unique in any way. There are better uses of this demon in other movies in the same universe. There are better uses of these actors. There are better uses of these cliches. All of this in this one single universe. I wouldn't say this is the worst movie you can watch this weekend, but I will say there must be better movies. I'm going to say that whether you watch The Nun or not, your heart will go on. Now what did you think of the Norma Before Geekies? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? How do you rank it in the Conjuring universe? I actually just rank it above Annabelle. That's not to say it's as close as bad as Annabelle, it's just not as good as the rest of this universe, which is really stacking up to be something really good. But let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what other movie in the Conjuring universe you'd like to see, and let me know if we get an Nun 2, will it be better like every other sequel in this universe? Thank you so much for watching, and this is my new main makeshift set. You'll probably just see this set for this one review because in two days I'm flying back to Portugal and when I come back I'll get a whole new set for you. Thank you so much for watching again. You guys are the best. Many reviews coming this weekend including one surprise geek classic. You guys are the best. And so until the next review, you stay beautiful, you stay geeky, and if you haven't done so yet, click the subscribe button, click the bell, and please do consider supporting me on Patreon or the nun will haunt you.
And when you do so, we can be geeky. United!